What's happening, Premier Planet? It's Justin Barlow coming at you with the results from PPW 286 this last Saturday night, and what a night it was. We not only held a tournament to crown a, to crown a new number one contender for the PPW World Heavyweight Championship, we also crowned a brand new Challenge Pro Champion in the main event. We started the evening with our opening round matches in the number one contenders tournament. Chase Gosling was able to defeat Brother Dave after him, not bad Chad at almost the last second was able to defeat DeMarcio. We had then had a special triple threat match. It was Connor Kaur taking on Poncho, taking on the Flying Phoenix, but unfortunately for all three of those guys, they ended up outside of the ring and all three were counted out, so none of those three men advanced in the tournament. Following that match, one half of the PPW World Tag Team Champions, Jose Acosta, he was able to defeat Wolfman Huck to advance, and then his tag team partner, Anakin, the other half of the PPW World Tag Team Champions, defeated Tim Castle. So now our semi-final matches were set. The first of these matches would be Chase Gosling taking on Not Bad Chad, but during the course of this match, Chase gets himself disqualified he hits the referee with that leg lariat. The referee calls for the disqualification, but unfortunately for not bad Chad, he would not be able to advance because the decision was not made by way of pinfall or submission. But that meant that our second semifinal match would now become our finals and would crown a new number one contender to the World Heavyweight Championship. And wouldn't you know it, folks, this match would be contested against tag team partners and tag team champions Jose Acosta and Anakin. Man, these two guys, they know each other so well. This match was lightning fast, but in the end, it would be Jose Acosta picking up the victory just barely over his partner, Anakin. Jose goes into this Saturday night to challenge El Maromero Inestra for the PPW World Heavyweight Championship. But speaking of El Maromero Inestra, while he didn't have to defend his championship at PPW 286, he did have an opportunity of his own when he stepped into the ring against his arch rival, the former five-time champion Matt Vine, and his running buddy, the American Ninja Warrior Semsei, in a triple threat elimination match, which would crown a new Challenge Pro Champion all three of these guys throwing caution to the wind at every moment they could. You would expect Inestra and Semsei to be working together, but no, they turned their aggressions on each other. It was truly every man for himself. The first elimination, however, occurred when Matt Vine attempted a double pile driver on both Inestra and Semsei at the same time. Unfortunately, the combined strength of Sem and Inestra launched Matt Vine backward over the top rope and Matt Vine was eliminated. That left the former tag team champions Semsei and Inestra and your winner was the American Ninja Warrior, Semsei. He bested El Mero Mero in the final fall of the Challenge Pro Tournament. And Semsei is now your new Challenge Pro Champion. And folks, that brings us to this Saturday night at PPW 287. Inestra will defend the PPW World Heavyweight Championship against the newly crowned number one contender, Jose Acosta. And we will crown new number one contenders to Jose's and Anakin's PPW World Tag Team Championships. And as always, folks, if every Saturday night here in the Premier Studio just isn't enough to satisfy your appetite for Premier Pro Wrestling, follow us all over social media. Make sure you subscribe to us on demand by visiting PremierProWrestling.com and clicking the on demand link. And for all exclusive content you can't find anywhere else online, visit us at patreon.com slash Premier Pro Wrestling. I'm Justin Barlow. We'll see you folks out here this Saturday for PPW 287.